Well, this week we're gonna try something new. I've been doing things from fast food chains like Burger King. What I really would like is have a great hamburger that is cooked to order, fresh ingredients, high quality material. I'm gonna try out a place today called BurgerFi. BurgerFi is an American restaurant chain focused on all natural foods, french fries, hot dogs, and custard. So, it's three in the afternoon. We're probably gonna hit some bad traffic. So, let's get this show on the road. I'm at BurgerFi in Kennesaw, Georgia. I wanted to find high quality hamburgers and french fries that are cooked to order. I've ordered four hamburgers. I plan on eating every bit of them. You, you, you can see how wonderful these things look, just like the picture. This is their breakfast burger. It's got a hamburger, uh, oh, bacon. I just, I'm just overwhelmed with these things. I wanna get to eating them before they get cold because these were all cooked to order and I hate to let that go to waste. But we'll start off first with the onion ring. Now, these things are massive. Joe's bite test. Beer batter, I believe. The flavor comes through perfectly. Oh, my stomach's been upset a little bit today, but this is gonna make me feel better. Diet Coke, no Pepsi, thank God. I'm gonna cut it in half. Look at this meat. It's got a little bit of spice to it. Mm. This is the standard Burger Fi burger with cheese. Next is the Burger Fi bacon cheeseburger. Now for the bite test on hamburger number two. Oh. The saltiness in the bacon comes out. The American cheese is great. The two baddies are cooked perfectly. They almost have a crust on them from being on the grill. It is cooked to order, and that burned-in logo makes it taste better. The french fries are lightly salted. Fresh cut in there. Perfect. I gotta stop myself so I have room for the other two. Perfect. Next, we have the breakfast all-day burger. You can see the hash browns. Mm, another good hamburger. No shortage of bacon. I love bacon. Last but not least is the CEO. It has double Wagyu plus brisket blend burger. I don't really know anything about those things. But anyway, it looks like it's at a bacon tomato jam truffles and aged Swiss cheese. Hopefully this will not disappoint. Mm, it's not really very salty. The candy tomato stuff, very unique flavor. For me it's probably been better without it. I'm sorry for talking with my mouth full. The beef has sort of a fine texture to it, drier, not as as moist as the other stuff, probably because it's leaner. A very pleasing flavor. I'm gonna put these up for tomorrow morning when we do our overnight reheat taste test. Well, I just finished up eating. The place is great. They cook everything to order. It takes about 10 or 15 minutes to prepare it. It's not cheap. Hamburgers run between about eight and nine dollars a piece. 
along with sides in addition to that. I didn't try their ice cream today. I did do their french fries and their onion rings. Their onion rings are fantastic. Burger Fi is a play on uh, Semper Fi. Burger Fi means burger faithful. Their menu is very narrow, which to me is a good thing. You don't want somebody that's trying to beat everything. You want someone to do something they're good at, and only that. Uh, the first thing I had was the Bi Fi Burger, double natural Angus beef, lettuce, tomato, and the Bi Fi sauce, which I found have a little bit of heat in it. I don't like things that are hot, but I wasn't completely put off by it. It was fresh, juicy, had cheese. I enjoyed it. The second was the uh, Bi Fi Bacon Cheeseburger, a double natural Angus beef, double bacon, double American cheese. That was my favorite because I like bacon, I like cheese, and I like a lot of meat. The third thing I wanted to try out was the breakfast all day burger. Now what they put in that thing was Angus beef, bacon, American cheese, maple syrup, fried egg, hash browns, grilled onion, and ketchup. The egg was cooked with the yolk, was just a little bit runny, it was perfect. It's the one I actually look forward to eating was called the CEO. I found it to be very tasty, a little dry. They had this homemade candied bacon tomato jam. I could taste it. I'm not really sure whether I liked it that well or not. It was a great burger. Any one of these burgers kills it. I'm giving these guys a 10 out of 10. I mean, they do everything right. They cook the order. They have a narrow menu, so they're not trying to do too much. And they do it well. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching. Subscribe. Leave a comment. If you know of a better hamburger place, let me know. I'm always looking for one. Welcome to the morning after, where we recap, reheat, and summarize from the day before. We're gonna see how the leftovers from Burger Fi fares after being reheated in the microwave or just eaten cold. So let's get on with the reheat challenge. I just happen to have some soggy onion rings left over. They're fresh cut, and you can tell. That onion ring, well, it's lost some of its resiliency, but what do you expect? It's an onion ring. You're not supposed to reheat onion rings. Anyway, I do. However, it has not lost its taste. Not crunchy anymore by anyone's stretch of the imagination. Ah, but it still tastes good. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Next thing we're gonna check, this would be the bacon cheeseburger, double cheeseburger. I can still taste that bacon and cheese. It is definitely reheatable. In fact, if I spend eight or nine dollars on a hamburger, I'm not taking it home to eat it later in the refrigerator. I'm gonna eat it right then. Mm. Gets a 10 in my book. Next. What do we have here? Ah, we have the, the all day breakfast burger. Mm. The all day breakfast burger needs a little another trip to the microwave. There we go, done deal. Eggs, bacon, hash browns, hamburger, ketchup. Mm. Still a breakfast burger. Just goes to show, when you use high quality ingredients, it's hard to keep them down. Mm. Definitely a way to start the day. This is the CEO. The one with that uh, candied tomato ketchup something. I don't know what it was. I didn't really like their uh, Candy tomato paste, i do 180 on that, still top notch. All this stuff heats up really, really well. The bread is not too soggy, the meat is lean, it tastes good, no matter what you do to it. Last but not least, the Burger Fi Classic with cheese and their special sauce. This is bliss. Who'd have thought these things would have heated up so well? I'm not gonna say they're just as good because they were awesome when they were fresh, but they stand up well to refrigerator torture. <sighs> but I gotta say, my favorite out of all these hamburgers has got to be the bacon double cheeseburger. And I cannot keep away from these soggy onion rings. <clears throat> If you find any of this interesting, helpful, or maybe you found a new burger place to go, like I did, subscribe to the channel. 
I review food. I try to find good food. I try not to find bad food. I scored today. Burger Fi. Thanks, Virginia, for putting me on to Burger 5. I really did enjoy eating these things.